Hi, this is Mark. Welcome to another video on GoDaddy Site Builder. Today I'm going to be showing you how to alter H1, H2, and H3 tags in GoDaddy Site Builder. Um, previously, I did a video on title and meta tags for GoDaddy, and a lot of people asked about these H1 and H2 tags. I said in the video that I wasn't totally sure how to do it. The good news is I've now found out, so I'm going to show you today. Um, as always, Please like this video and don't forget to subscribe if you want some more useful tips like this, hopefully also involving GoDaddy. So, to take a look today, um, let's begin. You're going to want to go to the edit website, little section on the front page. Just while it's loading up, um, this is going to involve a little bit of custom code today. The custom code that you'll need is going to be pinned as a comment at the top of the video, so you won't need to make it yourself, um, you'll just be able to copy and paste from that section, so that should be pretty easy to find. I'm going to go to the page that I want to add an H1 tag to, which is going to be right here. Um, to be completely honest, H1, H2, and H3, H3 tags aren't mega important. The H1 might be for SEO, but um, you know, it's something that you might want to do just to improve rankings a little bit. Or particularly if you're using a third-party tool to check how your on-page SEO is, obviously uh, this is something that you want to, to get right and get done properly. So we're going to add a section with our H1 header in. So to do that, you're going to need to click here where it says Add Section. And this is where we're going to have a little bit pop up with a few magical options that you might not have seen before in GoDaddy Site Builder. So the one that we're going to be looking for is the option to add custom code. So to add some HTML, go down to Files and Web, which you'll find right here. And when that opens up, you'll see there's the option here, which is HTML, which we're going to click on. So it says embed custom code on the page, click Add. The section will now be added that we're going to put our code into. So this is where you're going to want to copy and paste that code that I've given for you um, just at the top of the video. So here, you're going to go down to custom code, copy and paste, look at that. We're going to have a little header pop up. It doesn't look perfect, but don't worry. Go down to center align at the bottom, hit that. That's looking much better. You do have an option here to change the size. I've honestly found that's not too effective. So to change the font size, you can go here where it's got 36. Just think of this as the same as in Word. Uh, when you're using a word processor, you have the option to change the font size. So if I want to make it a bit smaller, let's put it down 22. Like that. Um, this is an H1 tag, as you can tell, because it's got H1 at the beginning and in the closing tag. If you want to change that to an H2 or H3, change the H1 to H2. Don't forget to do it in the closing tag as well. And that will now become an H2 tag for you. This is an H1 for me, so I'm going to leave it as that. Um, if you want to change the font font family, you can do that here. I've got this down as Arial. Um, in terms of the text as well, put in your own text. It's that simple. So for this page, the title that I want for this is Slovenian to English. Translation. Spell that correctly, shall we, for a little bit more effect? Okay, um, about the color, you've got the color down here by this blue by default in the codes that I gave you. Obviously, if you wanted to change it to green, let's see how that goes. It's now magically become green. Look at that. If you want something a bit more custom for the color, I can show you how to do that. Go to a website like HTML Color Codes. And you'll be able to create exactly the right color that you want. So let's say if I wanted a special shade of purple, I can make exactly what I want here. You're going to want to copy and paste the hex code uh, with the hash right here. And where it says green, just delete that. And just paste in your hex color value right here. And look at that. It's become the magical purple that I always wanted. So to finish off, you're just going to want to hit publish as usual. And then you'll have your page completed with an H1 tag. Look at that. That's just perfect. So I hope that's been useful for you. 
Um, if you've got any more questions about this, just put a comment at the bottom of the video. Um, have a great rest of the day in terms of whatever you're doing, and I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching.